In this video, we'll be learning how to solve equations using the TI Inspire CX. And more precisely, we'll be learning how to solve equations using graphical methods. Um, let's say we're given this equation here, and we're asked to solve for x. Now, we're given 0.1x cubed minus 0.4x squared plus 0.1x plus 0.6 equals to sine of x plus 1. Now, looking at that, I'm sure you'll agree with me that solving that by hand would be rather difficult. So luckily for us, there are some nice graphical methods that will allow us to solve this. And the idea is to treat each side of the equation separately. Each side of the equation would correspond to one curve. So looking at the left-hand side here, which I'm sort of boxing, we would start by considering the curve y is equal to 0.1x cubed minus 0.4x squared plus 0.1x plus 0.6, and we would plot that curve on a grid. Once that's done, we would then plot the curve, which would correspond to the right-hand side of the equation. So that would be y is equal to sine of x plus 1. And the solution, or solutions if there are more than one, to this equation will be the x-coordinates of the points of intersection of these two curves. And that's all we have to do. We have to plot each side of the equation as a curve and then look for the coordinates of the points of intersection. And that's exactly what the TI Inspire will help us to do. So let's go to the home screen here that we see of our TI Inspire. And to get started, we're going to create a new document. So we select New Document, Enter. And because we're going to be solving this graphically, we select the second option, Add Graphs. It's now asking us to enter the first function of x, so that's f1 of x. And just as we said, what we'll be entering here is going to be the left-hand side of our equation. So that would be 0.1 x cubed minus 0.4x squared plus 0.1x plus 0.6. Done. And we can now see that red curve here, which corresponds to the curve y is equal to 0.1x cubed minus 0.4x squared plus 0.1x plus 0.6. That's done. That's our left, the left-hand side of our equation dealt with. We now have to add a second curve, which will correspond to the right-hand side of the equation. And so to add this second curve, we press on Menu. And we're going to select the third option, Graph Type. And since we know the curve's equation, we select the first option, Function. And now we can see at the bottom of the screen, it's asking us to enter the second function, f2 of x. And so just as similarly as what we did before, we're just going to copy the right-hand side of the equation, so that will be sine of x plus 1. Enter. So, now it seems as though there could be two intersection points, but we're going to check on that. There's one here for sure, so let's start by figuring out the coordinates of that point of intersection. And to do that, we press on Menu, and we select the sixth option, Analyze Graph. We then select the fourth option, which is Intersection. The calculator will then ask us for a lower bound, and so we're going to go just to the left of the point of intersection that we're interested in, so I'm going to place it here on the left-hand side. It then asks us for an upper bound. All that really means is go to the right-hand side of the point of intersection that you're interested in. So we do that, and we can click anywhere on the right-hand side. Done. And we can see here it's added this point, the coordinates, and it's adding 3.66, 0 0.507. So those are the coordinates of the point of intersection of those two curves. Now, since we were asked to solve for x, the only value that we're interested in here is the 3.66. So we can already say that this equation definitely has one equation, which is 3.66. Now, let's just see if there is a point of intersection here or not. I'm not too sure if there is, but let's just check. And to do that, one, I want to say, safe way of doing it is to do exactly what we just did before. Analyze graph. Select intersection again. And just go to the left of that region where we have a bit of a doubt. 
and that will be our lower bound. So click anywhere to the left. Now if we click to the right anywhere, if we click there, it'll try and find a solution in between these two values, or in that region. So if there is no solution, the calculator won't find one. So if I click, no intersection found, which means that there, the curves don't intersect, and therefore there's no other solution to this equation. In other words, this equation has one single solution, and its solution is x equals to 3.66, and that's rounded here to two decimal places. And there you go. That's how you would solve an equation graphically using the TI-Inspire.